Hey folks, my name is Professor Giles Yeo and I'm based at the University of Cambridge where I study the brain control of food intake. And a part of the brain which I focus on in particular is called the hypothalamus. So bridge of your nose, base of the brain, sitting right above the pituitary. In humans, um, the hypothalamus is roughly the size of your thumb shape of an almond. Now, the hypothalamus is not just some homogenous lump of cells. It probably is one of the most complex regions of the brain, encompassing a number of different nuclei, each containing hundreds to if not thousands of different neuronal and other cell types. It acts, broadly speaking, as a fuel sensor. Now, the community have been trying to understand the complexity and heterogeneity of the hypothalamus by using single cell approaches in mice. Okay, and there are tens to hundreds of single cell data sets out there. Um, the issue is that they're not directly comparable. So you get 10,000 neurons there, 50,000 neurons there, all with different nutritional perturbations, etc. But they're not directly comparable, which is where we come in. So um, we, just last month, have published in Nature Metabolism the HypoMap, H-Y-P-O map, Google it please. Um, where we have taken 18 of the largest um, single cell data sets, mouse single cell data sets of the hypothalamus out there, and integrated it into a single database. Okay, And uh, this database is fully searchable, fully open access, just as I said, Google HypoMap, and you can have a look at your favorite gene, uh, where it's expressed within the hypothalamus, and what genes uh, it might actually be co-expressed um, with. And this is only the first version of the, of the database. These 400,000 cells probably form already the largest single cell database out there. But as we begin to hoover up and collect other data sets, we hope, to be, hope for this to be the most comprehensive single cell hypothalamic resource for, um, in terms of mouse hypothalamic biology there is. And we hope this will be a useful resource for the whole neuroscience and in particular, the neuroendocrine community. Let me know what you think.